Hi, it's Angie. I'm just coming on to do um, a project share, if that's the right word. Um, I entered, I've entered a challenge from Jessica Marvel. Um, I'll try and put the details of, of it in the, um, you know, description box. Um, sorry about this filming. I've just got a new um, camera arm um, and I record on my phone and I'm just trying to get it set up right. I've been fiddling around with it all morning. <laughs> So anyway, I just want to sort of share this with you. I hope, I'm just hoping it's all in sharp, but I need to go up a little bit more. I don't know. So I've just made this, um, I made some embellishments and I was going to put them in a box. Um, and then I decided I'd do like um, a loaded envelope type thing. So it's got sort of three, well, two pockets really. So I've made it, it's not really Halloween paper, but I just found a bit that had got, um, like an orange stripe on one side and it's just got like a black sp spot on the other so I thought that would be you know suitable on the back I've just die cut some pumpkins out of it's an orange glitter paper it was out of one of the pads from Hobbycraft that were on offer for £2.50 recently um, I love the sparkle on those pumpkins if you can see it and then on the front I've just put a black Halloween word die um i'm going to put a few of the little bits dotted around in the envelope but these are the sort of like the main embellishments so i'll take them out one by one so i've got a pack of two um little bat bows um just made up the bows with gold and silver miri obviously a black bat and then like an iridescent gem in the center I showed these recently on um, a video I did of some a set of Tim Holtz dies that I've been using. They're little ravens and they've been cut out of um, this like holographic, if you can see because of the light, holographic miri. And there's black glitter foam and purple glitter foam. Then there's some um, paper there that's sort of got like a bobble effect on it there's some plain gold um, there's plain black there's there's all sorts of different papers and cards in there I think they look really nice um, again you saw the candles on a recent video that I did I've paper pieced all the candles and I've done two of them with the red um, like holographic card to make it look like it's dripping blood I think that would be a nice die, you know, for like Christmas or birthdays, you could make it into whatever you want, really. Then, oh, I spent a little bit. This was um, a pumpkin um, embellishment that I made out of some gold um, glitter foam. And I made some leaves out of green card, a stem and a curly whirly sprig that was cut off. Um, I die cut and, and cut it off, whatever it was on. I think that was a pumpkin set as well. But these are just made out of circles and put together. I think they look really nice. And that colour gold's gorgeous. I'm trying to take it out without destroying everything. A little ghosty at the top. And two little um, ghosty embellishments with some little flowers. This is Hocus Pocus and Ghostly Greetings. I think he's a friendly little ghost. He looks friendly. Then I've got this skeleton face um, on a green circle of cards. And then I've got the sort of coloured thing behind that is cheesecloth that I've coloured green, purple and orange with some marker pens. Bit of orange ink there, just really sparkly. Then these, it's time for Wicked Fun. This is a, a, a dot a, stamp that I had or have and I've stamped two onto white foam and one onto paper the paper is the one at the top and I've just coloured it in with like purple pink green and a bit of like iridescent um just normal markers and the same with that one but just on foam and then that one you can't see a lot of it but I've just left it blank I've just left it stamped so it's just got like a light black stamped image of the skull 
with no colour on it. So that's that's the first pocket there. There is a little pocket. I did leave that bit open there, but I'm not sure I'd get anything in it. I think it's like I've, I've probably got like a couple of sets of embellishments in it, but it's really tight. But that's like the main pocket there. Then this is the bit I'm not bothered about not getting back in in again. I made a little box out of a die that I've got. I made it out of little ghosty paper. Put a bat on the top, some acetate in, and it's filled with like sequins and smiley pumpkins and pom poms and all sorts of bits that you can use to craft with at Halloween. Then I just thought that was cute. I had um, a spare one of those in like a burnt orange foam. And I just thought the pussycat sat quite nice on there. That was cute. And again, you saw that in my video um, that I did previously on Tim Holtz die set. It's the um, spell book. I think that's really cute. It's a really lovely uh, little die that is. Very fiddly to put together because there's loads of little pieces, but really, really nice die. Then I cut some banners out of some gold cards and then a smaller banner to go inside and I've put some little die cuts on and I've put jemmies on them all and I've just stamped a trick, trick or treat smell my feet on that one. Then I die cut some um, bows, just, just a pretty bow out of some Halloween paper and some Halloween coloured felt and foam just thought you know you, you could use those at halloween or you could use them at, you know whenever you want because they're not particularly halloween themed apart from the probably that one at the back i mean that one's just cats could use at any time and i really enjoyed doing these the coffins so it's a die cut coffin out of um very shiny black card then there's a layer of purple tulle you probably just see it there with the glitter on it then there's a layer of black foam, shine, um, sparkly foam. I love that foam. I bought about 10 pieces of it from Hobbycraft because I love it so much. But they do have it all year round. Um, then again, the shiny black card and then the word Halloween on the top. I just think that's really cute. And that's, that's cut out of foam. Just put those together in the packet. Just thought they looked nice. And then is this the last one? Let me just check. Yep. Yeah. Um, a pumpkin very very sort of embossed pumpkin that one and this this die is a perfume well I think it's a perfume bottle that I had from Hobbycraft oh probably three maybe four years ago and I've used these before as like um bottles for Halloween and I sort of cut them out of Halloween sort of colors it was like an iridescent purple gold green and black um, and I've just put a little bit of that cheesecloth in the middle again that I've coloured with purple and uh, orange um, markers, just normal pens, just colour on it. Looks great. A little bit of that behind it. And then I've used a Tim Holtz label on them all as if they're, you know, poisonous and, and that. And just put apothecary at the bottom. So that's what's going in the loaded envelope. Um, I've also got a little pillow box with some little goodies inside there. And I've also got a box of die cuts. I might try and like make this look a bit more pretty. Um, also got these set of four die cuts. I think they look really nice together. And again, that's out of that really shiny black card. Um, so I'll be putting those in the box. Um, and I'll say I've got a few other bits and pieces to go either in the pocket or in the box um, I'll try and make it look all pretty so um, yeah that's my swap for Jessica and I say I'll, I'll try and put all her details in the description um, her, her challenge is open until October the oh no I can't remember it's about the beginning of October so you've still got you know um, a little bit of time to go and enter so um, as I say I'll 
try and link her video in the description so thanks for watching everyone bye